If you're making the switch from Adobe products to Affinity products, you may have noticed that there is no specific line tool like we find in, uh, say, InDesign. So let's take a look at how we would create a line in Affinity. I'm in Designer right now, um, but the exact same thing works for Publisher, and I will show you that at the end of this video, but it'll be exactly the same. So over here on the left-hand side, we need the pen tool, so I've selected that, and that brought up some new options here in the contextual toolbar. So we've got the fill, the stroke, the stroke weight, and the line mode. So this is the important thing to do first, is to switch it from pen mode to line mode, and then we will be able to click a point, hold down shift, and click another point, and there we have a straight line. So now we can make some modifications to the line weight. So I'm going to make a really thick line so you can kind of see some of the changes that happen. So right now I have a rounded cap on, which means the end of my lines are nice and rounded. I could also switch to the butt cap or the square cap. And the difference is subtle. It's just if you look at the little symbol here, it's where the node is um, on each of them. So you can see the node is here right at the end. And here it's got a square cap around this end point here. So uh, I don't know that that makes a huge difference in practice, but uh, that's just the difference between the two. So uh, let's switch back to just a nice round cap. I'm going to leave it on a really thick weight um, because it, the other thing I want to show you is this scale with object option. And so um, it's not a bad idea to turn this on if you're going to be doing some resizing of your objects ever. Now, when it's just a single line like this, it doesn't make a lot of difference because the only thing we can scale is in the horizontal direction. But let's take a look at what happens. Let's switch to the move tool when we create a copy of this and then we will select it all and I'm going to control G to group it all. You can also go layer group and then if we make some scaling of this I have scale with objects on and it's going to shrink my line thickness up as my object scales. Now conversely if we were to um, let's just ungroup this all and um, let's turn this off on both of them and then I will regroup the lines and now when I scale you'll see that it stays the same thickness so if you're going to be creating objects large and then scaling them down um, that's a useful thing to know so that is how you create a line in Affinity, and I'm just going to switch over to Publisher and show you it's the same thing. We've got the same looking pen tool there. We get the same menu, and we can switch to line mode and put a point down, put another point down, and adjust the stroke width of it. Um, or thickness. We can switch to a dashed line and then you can create uh, the length of both your dots and your spaces in this area here. Um, you can also choose the scale with object and if you were to create shapes with this you'd be able to um, adjust how they join to each other. So that's a quick look at lines in Affinity, and we looked at that in both Designer and Publisher. It's exactly the same thing. Um, we get the same pen tool and the same options here. The important thing is pen tool, switch to line mode, and then draw your line. Hold shift to hold it to keep it straight, and then you can adjust your stroke colors and your stroke weights in the menu that comes up with this stroke uh, button up here in the toolbar. All right, so thanks for watching and uh, check out my other videos. Thank you.